Democrat pioneers are working with UN and NATO to convey troops to the roads of Chicago and force a condition of military law. A week ago, Cook County Commissioner Richard Boykin called for United Nations peacekeeping troops to be positioned in the city of the U.S. keeping in mind the end goal to manage the developing weapon viciousness issue in America. As you'll hear in the video underneath, Boykin says that U.N. troops should be brought into America's urban areas as an approach to help casualties of brutality. In a move that will transform Chicago into a combat area simply like Syria. The Democrats intend to extend the highly sensitive situation to whatever is left of America. Naturalnews.com reports, I'm planning to speak to the UN to really come to Chicago and meet with casualties of savagery, and perhaps conceivably assist regarding peacekeeping endeavors, Boykin clarifies in the video underneath. HT to the Daily Sheeple. At the point when made a request to clarify further, he says that outfitted outside troops. Stunt troops are important to ensure minority and defenseless populaces. UN troops have possessed the capacity to help in places like Africa, where they have sent troops in, sent powers in, to help ensure minority and defenseless populaces, so honestly I figure the same can be said for here in Chicago. Dave Hodges and Steve Quayle have been correct from the beginning. For the record, Autonomous media writers Dave Hodges and Steve Quayle have been cautioning about UN troops being released on US soil for a long time. Also, to do in this way, they have been mocked as trick scholars and neurotics, as have every single free medium columnists, on second thought. However here we have an open affirmation by a Chicago Democrat this is absolutely the arrangement. It's never again only a hypothesis. It's a confirmation of the arrangement. Hodges expounded on this only yesterday, truth be told, saying. For quite a long time, the Common Sense show has been determined in uncovering the presence of UN troops on US soil who are essentially sitting tight for an appearance to rise and implement military law as the opening salvo for the takeover of America. The Common Sense show has gained from a formerly used and high positioning and well set source, that occupation troops of the United Nations positioned in Chicago intend to utilize the extraordinary principles for them yet to uncertainly confine, without due process that they self-assertively esteem to be a potential issue. The rundown of prisoners will not be bound to outfitted criminals who are making pandemonium and murder in Chicago. The rundown of changeless prisoners may incorporate individuals from the deep state restriction. Stefan Stanford of All News Pipeline has additionally widely secured this now conceded entry in articles like this one, written work. UN troops and vehicles are here in America, however sitting tight for what? As Quayle lets us know, this ought to be an enormous rude awakening. There is no reset catch on what we're currently watching unfurling as the globalists get ready to put this investigation in freedom once known as America to bed. There is no issue too huge to illuminate. When you attack America with remote troops. On Boykin's on site, he clarifies, there is no issue too huge for us to tackle. When we cooperate. By cooperating, obviously, he implies releasing outside troops on U.S. soil. This detours group Comitatus, which denies dynamic obligation U.S. officers from policing our own roads. By naming the equipped UN intruders peacekeepers, Boykin is conjuring profound double dealing about his actual aims, which is the military occupation and oust of US specialists. The craziness of his proposal is off the graphs. He claims to require UN troops to stop firearm savagery, for instance, yet neglects to recognize that all the outside troops will be outfitted, in this manner conveying much more military weapons to the boulevards of America to be gone for U.S. subjects, obviously. While nobody can deny the way that Chicago is basically a war zone, the way that a liberal city official is intending to utilize United Nations peacekeepers to stand up to said savagery ought to send shockwaves down the spine of any flexibility adoring American, composes the Daily Sheeple. Liberal pioneers in Chicago are currently straightforwardly wanting to proclaim military law finish with UN stunt troops in the city to police the American populace.